your host Jess, and welcome to Free to Play Weekly, your show about free to play online games. In this week's news, take on legions of rival players in ferocious large scale battles in Warren's Story, the latest free to play MMORPG from Area Games. The company announced the beginning of closed beta testing for this fantasy filled adventure filled with PvP action. Warren's Story features spectacular graphics and animation, which will make you think you're right there in the game, as well as four distinct classes and ten engaging PvP modes. Because let's face it, beating your rival guilds once is just not enough. G-Potato has just announced that the new version of Fliff, or is it Fliff? Floof? Fluff? Anyway, the new version of Fliff, Fly for Fun, will launch on July 11th. This cherished free-to-play MMORPG is coming back with brand new features to make it more up-to-date with the current times. From the brand new weapon transformation and consignment marketplace, to the updated guild siege rewards and the in-game social client, tons of features in this game are getting a facelift. Take Fly for Fun's extensive character customization to the next level by transferring the best stats onto your weapon of choice. Or choose PvP over dungeon raids to win rare and top-level gear in Guild Siege. A new video for Heroes and Generals has arrived, come out to play. Oh no, that's what the video is called. But really, you should come out to play, the weather is lovely today. Anyway, the video splices live action sequences featuring developers and game community with in-game sequences. Heroes and Generals is a unique blend of MMO FPS and MMO RTS, developed by Rotomoto, the creative minds that brought you Hitman. So maybe we'll see some Heroes and Generals garot wiring each other. Heroes and Generals is being developed in close collaboration with the community at every step, including the current playable closed beta stage. Wargaming has launched its latest update, 7.4, for World of Tanks. This update introduces two new game modes, Encounter Battle, where two teams fight over a single base, and Assault, where a single team defends against their enemies. Two new maps, Wide Park and Airfield, offer new locations to face off against the opposition. The French tech tree also gets Le Update, with new long-range SPGs, eight new tank destroyers, and other premium content. Gamemania has announced the launch of open beta testing for its browser-based strategy game, Web Kohime Musou. Say that five times fast. Gamemania is also running its official Kohime Musou cosplay event, where four cosplayers will arrive at Anime Expo on June 30th and fans can vote for their favorite. As a free-to-play browser-based strategy game, Web Kohime Musou doesn't require a download or installation to play. Anyone can dive into the action in just minutes, making it a hit at LAN parties. Nexon America has launched episode 10 of Vindictus. The new update includes three new bosses, the Ice, Earth, and Black Dragons, as well as metallic inner armor, two new haircuts for each character, because let's face it, looks are important on the battlefield, as well as skill reset capsules and hardened steel armor. Surprise supplies have also been updated for the new episode. Oh my gosh, those supplies just came out of nowhere. And finally, a trivia event will run until July 11th rewarding players for beating the Strange Traveler at his own trivia game. And because we love you guys so much, MMOBomb.com and Free to Play Weekly have more sweet giveaways for you. We've got in-game items for Serenia Fantasy and beta keys for Air Mech and Arctic Combat. To get your keys, just go to MMOBomb.com slash giveaway. And here's the video of the week. That's what I took away from it as well. Okay, and the, the way they funny. worded, like, the attacker could literally take over the castle and oust everybody. Uh, so we read that the same way, Hera? Yeah, I totally did. I The way that I looked at it, it was, you know, Magic gets his guild, he's got his guild fortress, my guild comes along, spanks his little PvP bottom, because we know how easy that is. Um, <laughs> did you just call my bottom easy? Well, I think he did. That's kinda, yeah, well, you know, that's, that's that's not okay, man. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's not right, man. I don't know if we're gonna have you on anymore. <laughs> and the game of the week is Drift City. Drift City is a distinctive free MMO driving game that's half role-playing game and half racing game. It offers both single-player mission modes and multiplayer race modes with beautiful cel-shaded graphics, making it both a distinctive and unique experience. 
Players get to choose their vehicles, modify and customize the design with a simple and intuitive interface, and upgrade the performance of their vehicles. And that's all for this week, but thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave us a comment. We'll see you guys next week because otherwise we'd have to change the name of the show. Until then, you can check out MMOBomb.com for more free-to-play action.